Welcome into Sunday Sermons, the sermons where we um, uh, deal with the uh, book, The United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. It's a compensatory counter-racist code book authored by Mr. Neely Fuller, Jr. This edition that we're holding is the uh, 2016 edition by Mr. Neely Fuller, Jr. It is a, a, a revised and expanded edition of the original 1984 uh, book. And uh, it's a textbook workbook of, uh, for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. Um, usually, uh, this is the last Sunday of the month, usually the last Sunday of the month, what we do is we go to the back of the book um, and we have definitions, something like that. But this, these are just thoughts that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has uh, ended the, his uh, this particular um, edition of the book with. And so we just go and just read some of these thoughts so you, so you can have thoughts, perhaps, okay? So let's uh, go. Maybe I should put some glasses on so I can, just in case, uh, just in case, maybe more con uh, concentrated this way, right? Uh, so I just uh, uh, underlined several of them uh, or indicated several of them. This is page four, uh, uh, 444 to page 445. Uh, so far, no culture and no government has proven to be correct at all things, at all times. Okay, just know that. Another thing that Mr. Nilifulis Jr. has uh, uttered, uh, the person who has plenty of criticism of your plan to solve the race problem should be able to demonstrate a better one or a better plan. Right? Uh, many people who say that they enjoy socializing with people often show that they only enjoy criticizing or gossiping about the people that they uh, so-called socialize with. Have you seen that? Hmm. Uh, black males have proven themselves pitifully weak in interacting constructively and effectively to the situations that most dominate their behavior in the known universe. A code of constructive thought, speech, and action should swiftly correct this. Hmm. Uh, that might that, that may be true, but uh, I guess there's reason for it. But then you'd be justifying it, so you, I guess you have to. Well, pitifully weak. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta really think about that one. I'm gonna go back to this one. Anytime, anytime you talk about black men, that not that I get defensive, but I, I know the circumstance that things have happened. So, uh, so I have to really think about that one. Uh, all problems should have been solved before they became problems. A little wise saying there. Sexual, sexual intercourse should be the very last act in the process of establishing a constructive relationship with a friendly person or alien people or a former master. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, some people seem to be involved with everything and in touch with nothing. Famous sayings, okay. And the, 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 well, the, I, I've, I've coupled these last two together. All right. As, and I'll tell you why after I finish reading the both. Ask your creator for constructive help and always thank your creator by doing constructive deeds. And the second part of that is be thankful to the creator of you for every breath that you have ever received and for every breath that you will ever, that you will ever receive. Each one has been a gift. This is interesting because I, I'm into, uh, well, you know, this whole asking your creator for something. I don't, I don't, it's like praying. You know, people say that they pray, but what they actually do is they petition, you know, oh, oh, creator, oh, great spirit, oh, God, give me this, oh, Allah, please grant me that. But that's petitioning. But this whole thankful after you get it, to be thankful, now that's something worth it, okay? Or as Bob Marley said, give thanks and praises. All right. Okay, so that's it for this Sunday sermon as, as delivered by me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.